Hello and welcome to Sobi Christine. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous skirt with train. I will be explaining how to make these three different trains that you can see on the screen. So if this is what you're interested in, I would like you to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it to those that will be interested in it. If you want to get updates on whenever I post tutorials, do turn your notification bell on. So this is the paper that I'm going to be making use of. On this paper, I'm going to draft the back basic block and I'm going to be drafting the quarter of the back measurements. From the top here, I'm going to mark the hip line plus 0.5 inch, which should be for the starting point. So I've just marked my starting point and the hip line. Here is the knee line and here is the hem line. So determine your waistline, your hip line, your knee line, and the M line. I'll go ahead and rule out all these areas that I've marked. So on this line, I'm just going to label this WL for waistline, then the hip line, the knee line, and the hem line. Then this part, I'm going to label this side, the center back. The next thing we'll be doing is to contour the back. So on the waistline here at the center back, I will go inward by one inch. Then on the knee line, I will also go inward from the center back by one inch. After marking down this one inch, I'm going to draw a curve from the waistline to the hip line. Then I will continue through to the knee line. And I'm just going to connect this down to the hemline using a straight line. So I'm just going to highlight this so it's going to be visible. Next, I'm going to be taking down the quarterback measurements. And I'll take all my measurements from this line. So on the waistline, I'm going to take the quarter waist measurements. Divide your waist measurement by 4 and mark it down here. Then on the hip line, divide your hip measurement by 4 and mark it down. Do the same for the knee line. I'll go ahead and connect all these points together. Then I'll also mark the knee measurement onto the hem line and draw a straight line down to the hem line. To get the measurement of your knee line, Minus 1.5 inches from the quarter measurement of your hip line. That will give you your knee line value. I'll go ahead and label this part SB, which is side back. Then this is the center back. Afterwards, I'm going to cut this out. This is the basic block for the back skirt. Hence, I'm going to label this back and I'm going to bring in a new paper. So this is where I'm going to be drawing the train. First off, I'm going to mark 6 inches here. You can go beyond that. You can mark 8, you can mark 10, depending on how full you want your dress to be and depending on um, the quantity of your fabric. So. Once I'm done marking down the 6 inches, I'm going to draw the starting point line. Thereafter, I'm going to place this basic block that I've just drawn onto this, ensuring that the hip line aligns with the straight line here. Then I'll go ahead and trace this block onto this new paper. So I'm just going to mark down all the lines that I drew on the block onto this paper. After marking, I'll go ahead and draw a straight line over the marked areas. Then I'll label the lines. Next, from the knee line, I'm going to come up by 5 inches from the knee line here. So I'm going to mark down 5 inches at the center back. And I'll also mark 5 inches at the side back here. Then I'm going to take the measurements from the top of this paper to the area I marked 5 inches. And I'll come to this side and mark that value down. Next, I'm just going to draw a straight line connecting this 5 inches to this place that I marked. Afterwards, 
I'm going to take down the measurement from this 5 inches to the hemline. So, whatever value I get there is what I'm going to use to draw the train, the arc of this skirt. So, let's say the value we got there was 22 inches. I would just mark 22 inches all through turning my ruler this way as I go. After marking, I'll go ahead and connect all these points together. This that I've just done here is going to give you a full train. So if you want your train to be very full, then this first method is very ideal for you. Next, if you want to increase the length of your train, you can go out by 15 inches, now depending on you. So mark your desired length. You can go out by 20 inches. You can go out by 36 inches. That depends on you. At the side back here, I'm going to come downward by 5 inches. And I'm going to connect these 5 inches to meet with the new length of the train. After connecting, I'm going to label this center back CB and this SB. Next, we want to add fullness to the side of this skirt. So I'm going to extend this line to meet at the edge of this paper. Then from this point here where I marked 5 inches upward, I'm going to connect this straight down. So like I said, I use 6 inches here. You can mark more than that if you want yours to be fuller. Than this. Once I'm done highlighting this, I'll go ahead and cut this out. So the first one is ready. We'll be moving on to the next one. I'm just going to quickly draft the basic block onto the new paper so we can start with the train. So for the train, I'm going to divide this arc by two. This particular train is going to give you minimal fullness, okay, because we'll be dividing this into two. So I'm just going to go ahead and rule this, assuming this is the half of the arc so now that this is drawn out this line is no longer useful this is what we'll be making use of henceforth so i'm going to extend this line like we did the first one add to your train to make it longer then at the side back i'll come downward by five inches okay Then I'm just going to roll a straight line down to that 5 inches. At this side here, I just want to add more length to it. Then I'm going to connect this way. So you can see the way I connected this. Now this is the part that we'll be making use of. Next, I'm going to increase the fullness here at the side back. I will extend this line to the edge of the paper. If I proceed with that, I'm going to label this CB and SB. Then from these 5 inches, I'm going to draw a straight line to meet with the one at the base. So you can see the difference here. I need this to be very visible, so I'll go ahead and highlight what I have just done. Once I'm done highlighting, I'll just proceed to cutting this out. If you have gained value from this video so far, Please like this video, this would encourage me to make more videos and also allow more people to watch this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have questions regarding this that I'm drafting, feel free to ask them in the comments and turn your notification bell on for more updates whenever I post tutorials. So I'm done drafting the second one and this is what we have, the first and the second. Next, I will quickly transfer my basic block onto a new paper like so. 
so that we can drop the third one. Once I'm done with this, we'll proceed to altering the train here. So remember the second one, I divided that one by two. I'm going to be dividing this by three. So I'm just going to measure whatever I have here. This is how you measure. You measure your arc here. I have five inches here. So I'm going to divide that by three inches. That is five inches divided by three. So whatever value you get, that is what you are going to mark. Note that this third one would give you less fullness. So if you do not want your train to be very full, then you can opt for this third one. So I'll go ahead and mark my value and use a straight line to connect this. Then I'll proceed to extending this line downward. I'm actually going to add a paper to this because I want to extend this line more. Like I said, when making your train for the length, there is no exact value. You can add whatever value you want to add. So at the side back, I'm going to come down by five inches and I will just extend this line to the edge of the paper. Next, I'm going to bring in the paper that I told you of. Then I would pin this down. After pinning, I will extend this line downward then from our new line here i'm going to draw my curve this way to meet with this straight line i'll come to the side back here and draw a line from the five inches to meet with the line at the edge of this paper so we have our number three all drawn out. You can see each of these skirts that I have drafted has its own uniqueness. So do not cut this line here for any reason. I've written that down. So when you're making yours, do not for any reason cut that line. It must remain straight. Okay, after this, I'm going to show you how to draft the front block. All right. So, if you have watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, like smash that like button right now and share this video once you're done watching to those that will be interested. Once I'm done cutting this, I'll go ahead and draft the front basic block. Here are the three that I have drafted. You can take your pick and try any of these out. You can try the three of them or whichever one rocks your boat. Honestly, these three skirts are beautiful and very easy to make. So for the front basic block, I'm going to label this center front, which is CF. Okay. And I'm going to draw the starting line here. You can use 0.5 for your starting line. Then I will go ahead and mark the hip line, the knee line, and the hem line. For the hip line, I'm making use of 7 inches. After taking down this measurement, I will go ahead and rule a straight line over the marked areas. And I'm going to label this WL, HL, KL, and M. Next, from the center front, I'm going to mark the quarter waist measurement on the waistline. And I'm going to mark the quarter hip measurement on the hip line. I'll do the same thing for the knee line. I've explained how to get your um, quarter knee measurements. Then whatever you got on the knee line is what you mark on the hem. After marking this, I'll go ahead and connect all the points together. So I'm going to label this side front. Then on the hem, I'm going to come out by six inches. Remember the six inches we use when drafts in the back. From the knee line, I'm going to go up by five inches and I'll mark that down. From this five inches, I'm going to draw a straight line to meet with the six inches on the hem line. 
Now this is very okay if you do not want to extend the length of your dress. But since we extended the back, I'm going to extend this by 5 inches like we did for the back. So I'm just going to draw my line over this marked area. Now for you to know how long you want your skirt to be, it's advisable you wear your heels before taking the length of your skirt. Okay, that will give you the right measurement. So I'm just going to reconnect my line to meet with the extended one at the base. So this is how to draft the front basic block. If you are going to be doing this on your fabric, it's very easy. Just follow the instructions that I've given. I'm going to label this front, then I will go ahead and cut out this pattern. So guys, I'm done cutting and this is what we have here. This is the front part with the second skirt and this is the front part of the skirt with the first back one that I made and I'm going to bring in the third one. So tell me in the comment section which is your favorite and which you'll be trying out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.